the people, they are not considered for that particular purpose. Second thing is Vaishvika. They are connected with some spatial activities which are not included in this trend or analysis. Third thing is Pratinidhya, wherein by a particular planet that takes the representation of its proximate planets and that leads and contributes the benefits or malefits. So these type of approaches are being done by our people. And in that context, Sun and Moon, even though being a star and satellite, as they are read as per their influence, not their presence and participation, their influence on calculation, evaluation and determination, they are also included because they are also the determinant factor. So this was the reason for the people. So there are also pre-Neptunian planetary system, Neptunian planetary system and post or trans-Neptunary planetary system. Three systems are there in the society now. Our system is pre-Neptunian, wherein we don't include this Neptune, Uranus, Uranus, so that is Pluto and everything. Second thing is Neptune. Now most of the recent software, as well as some scientists, they have invented uh, three planets more and uh, they have introduced that. It is that whether present or uh, whether influential that is to be discussed between us. Influential study is the ruling study in astronomy rather than study of near presence. So this is an influential study. So this is what we want to say that there are some confusions in the course of modernity. Few things are to be observed, identified and uh, included within us. Few things are to be totally ruled out. So the Pratantravada which deals with uh, the understanding of technology that it should have a semi-permeable osmotic filter wherein by the observable things or permissible things can be observed or permitted and so many things which will affect the standard foundation of the system they are not to be considered at all. The second thing is Uvay Siddhanta Vada which has been made in one declaration. For all of your calculation of horoscopes, everything, your peculiar and specific things you practice Trigger in the Panchangas and all of other temple related and event related things you practice Vakya Panchangas. The Uvay Siddhanta Vada which was declared in some congregations. The third thing is known as the Divya Vada which is made by most of the people. If you uh, take into account wherever the things, even in the Vedas, Surya, he spoke, then Chandra spoke and Brahma Sutra he has already quoted this, the same auditorium. I have quoted Abhimani Vapadeshastu Visheshwana Sajib Dham. We consider that each and every material object is pervaded by a celestial force. Each and every celestial force is governed by a conscious element. Each and every conscious element is qualitative. Each and every qualitative element is delegative. Each and every delegated element is instrumental. Each and every instrumental element is authoritative. And this authoritative element is what we call Devata. So there is Paramatma or Brahman. And he is like Visha, Smartma, Tathapogate. Everybody is under his control. He is subjected to the divine order. Everybody is working for. He comes there. There is an element, element is having a force, force is having a nature, nature is having a pre-designed program, that program has consciousness, that consciousness has a determinal figuration, that figuration or personification is having a form, that form is known as a celestial representation or delegation of God, that is what we call Devata. Even though this cannot speak, Russia and China cannot speak together, they cannot meet together. Russia and Australia, they cannot meet together countries, but Russian and Australian Prime Minister can sit like us, like this. Huh? In proximate thrones, they can be treated like Abhimani, they can speak and their own indeterministic nature of determination is different from your calculation. So Divya Vada says that you are calculating these things as celestial bodies with the tropism, extension, motion, retrogression, progression, aggression, collision, what are the astronomical impacts, you are calculating them as mere material bodies. So Divya Vada says that even if you look at either you must come purely scientific or you have to throw the titrizer because the titrizer they say that even Surya Sutrasa if you start or if you see the Madhyama Adhikara you can see that Surya himself has given initiation to Maya Charya Surya has given the Upadesha to Maya Charya Surya is a body and there are innumerable Suryas and they are just material compositions and they have no conscience or sense at all he is the western school of thought Surya is not only a body but also a governing agent and that agent is a celestial representation and he has form, he has ability, he has compatibility, he has proper power to move with people, he can initiate, he can invigorate, he can bless, he can be propitiated by rituals, worship and penance, so aradhyaha, bhujyaha, upasyaha, everything is included in this. Either you have to prove it, believe it or totally leave it. You must not confuse these things with other things. So it says that what is the day for Brahma, night for Brahma, what is the day for a Deva, night for a Deva, how strictly has been done. So, our treatises like Surya Siddhanta, 
or any other traditional sitaisas like Homer Siddhartha, Brahma Siddhartha, I've already told, innumerable commentators also, that everything has originated with a theosubstantial study. Study of deity, study of God, study of worship, study of inner revelation, study of other things at all. For this type of vada, that like Divya Vada it says, that if you calculate that we are the celestial operation of the material bodies, then you can say that it is not moving, it is moving, or anything can say that. If you consider the celestial representation also, then you have additional inputs, you have special inputs, you have such inputs which are not reachable by your modern systems of calculation, whether it may be a neckline or a hipline software, you cannot understand everything. That is the video of the first school of thought. So, in this basis, you say, Vakya Adrik, Kasya Vakyam, Kasya Adrik. There are innumerable things. Who says and what is the level of thought? Are they anywhere competent to either comment or to verify or to understand or to realize or to make other realize? Are we competent? We have to go for a self-evaluation or introspective study because that. That is why it is known as Veda. So Veda, I want to give the five meanings of Vedas here. <coughs> One is we think that Pratyakshayana Vitya Vayasu Pahyamukhate is a common definition known to all. That which reveals, that which is non known through Pratyaksha and Anumana, perception and inference is known as Veda. Number one. Number two, even in Pratyaksha, whatever we are seeing, we may be having optical deception or intellectual deception. Even not only Vedas are known for apratyakshas, even on perceptible things or understanding the perceptible things in the Atatmya method, that is the system of understanding as it is where it is or as where it is tradition, then for that we have to know the Vedas. So Vedas are not only the providers of knowledge for things which are not perceptible, that is imperceptible or unintelligible, even on intelligible subjections for giving the clarity, essence, ascertainty and accuracy, you need Veda. Number two. Number three, even if you can see things accurate and precise for understanding Dhali, how it will be in future, how its response and modifications will be there for understanding that you know something Vedas are to do with without which you cannot get the proper aid at all. And number four, apart from this thing, whatever you are seeing, even the beings see things they are they are having unseen elements or dimensions inside. Pratyaksha siyapi, apratyaksha bhava. Even the seen elements they have unseen portions or divisions inside. To see them we need that. And fifth, even though you are seeing this thing, sango pangat jnana You are seeing only one proportion. It's comparative study, that's what I told you in one seminar. In the Global Consciousness Project, they have given you a very wonderful statement. You cannot pluck your flower without disturbing a distant star. Somebody asked, what is the essence of your global conscious project? They told you cannot pluck your flower without disturbing a distant star. On the basis of this global consciousness, Sambo Panga, if you are seeing a leaf, you are seeing only a leaf, but in connectivity with air, ether, consciousness, mind, this galaxy, other constellations, super galactic structures, there will be either an infinitesimal or considerable, conspicuous or latent, whatever it may be, there will be an internet connectivity. So to understand that you need Veda. So Veda is the Iti Veda. Not only Apratyaksha Vishyan Veda is the Iti Veda. Pratyaksha Vishyan Api Samyak Veda is the Iti Veda. Vartamane Vityamanana Padarthana Mapi Bhavi Rakshanatikam Samyak Vidhi Yate Anena Veda is the Iti Veda. The fourth thing is Sula Padarthana Mapi Sukhshpatwa Manena Vidhi Yate Iti Veda. The fifth thing is Sambo Pangena Samya Kasmadihi Avagam Yate Anena Margena Anena Upayena Iti Veda. So Veda Iti Veda Viti Veda means that it is not only giving Pratyaksha, not only giving Apratyaksha, it gives the Sukhma of this Thula, it gives the Bhavi of the Vartamana, it gives the Sambo Panga Patana, Sambo Panga Darshana of each and every smallest particle, minutest particle of the world. So it is an etheric or composite study of macro particles and the most microatomic structure of the macrocosmic ether. So this is, that is why it is known as the Veda. These five things are <coughs> the various other modifications or various other definite modifications of the term Veda Yati Iti Veda. So something to be considered that Vedas are meant only for the next world, meant only for liberation, meant only for something which is not perceptible to sense that is absurd. Veda gets the Nayakatva or Pradhanya or it gets the predominance wherein by it is going to interpret our